Okay, this is something that kind of came up over the weekend um, that many people have been asking us about, so we wanted to take a moment to address this. Um, I hate to give uh, you know attention or visibility to some of these people um, in in our market or our community, but unfortunately, uh, you know, in order in order to truly address the problem, we have to we we, we can't just completely avoid these people or this this topic. Uh, but this weekend, uh, Mario, our friend Mario Maleri, posted a screenshot, supposedly, of Artune and a log showing that Artune runs lean. Uh, and he made some pretty uh, salacious and unsupported statements based on this random screenshot with no qualification that uh, we run really lean, and that's that's why Artune's not safe or something like that. Um, so, you know... <clears throat> I don't want to talk about him too much more, but I'll just say he has blatantly posted false information. He's uh, posted uh, draggy times that that uh, he said were his car, and they weren't. They were someone else's draggy time. It was falsified. Um, just uh, last week, there was a pretty high visibility blown SQ5 motor on his tune that he blew. You know, so I, this isn't the you know, the reliable person in our community, our industry that anyone should be listening to. But unfortunately, in this day and age, you can drop some kind of salacious bombshell random thing on the internet, and a lot of people believe it. Yeah. Um, and and th this case, there was, believe it. yeah, no context over anything. It was yeah. a screenshot of a, of a, like, text viewer of a CSV of a log file, it looked yeah. like. So it was just a very weird, um, yeah. non-contextual, no real information just yeah i don't know yeah why so, anybody would even so if, if if you have to ask why why would he post that or why would he do that it's it's pretty obvious so he he believes that there is a business opportunity for him to steal zero through four motorsport customers i think we are arguably the, the most well-known popular most used uh, b9 tuner in the market and so if he can you know attack us and hurt our credibility even in his post on his page there's people like how do i get your tune if uh, you know if my tune's not safe i need your help to get you know and they're they're people are you know kind of falling for this tactic um so you know we don't that's not our marketing tactic is to go attack someone else and try to like falsely um, hurt their reputation so that we can get their customers this is kind of like the abusive boyfriend who convinces the girl that no one else can ever love her so he can love her terribly um you know, that's not that's not our strategy our strategy is is to focus on being the best putting our uh, ourselves out there and engaging with customers and that's worked very well for yeah. us so you know as far as his motive for doing this and and uh, misconstruing something you know that's why he's doing it uh I guess it's up to you to decide if that's something you you're okay with or you respect, but certainly not not and, our, not our marketing strategy. Yeah, and I'll, I'll say I think too. I think we are probably one of the most, or yeah, without question, probably the most open uh, yeah. tuner and calibrator that you're going to find. We, we certainly try hard. We, to yeah, we 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 are not trying to hide anything. You can literally log any one of our files <laughs> yeah. um, that you've provided that that you've purchased from us with some of the most advanced logging tools that are available mm -hmm. in this market. So. Uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, how much more yeah. um, out there and um, exposed we could be. Where we don't need. Um, yeah, so you know, there's nothing we are or could hide or would, yeah. would feel that we would need to hide. The silly thing about this is Mario's post makes it sound like no one has ever logged our tunes and nobody knew what our air fuel ratios were until now. That's just absurd. Uh, we offer a logging tool for any of our customers, and we log. We will log your car and work with you and help you to log your car for free. We do that dozens of times a week, maybe more. We've helped thousands of customers log their B9S4s, and we observe all the operating parameters of their tunes, not just air fuel ratio. That so it's definitely one we do watch. It's not a big secret what our air fuel ratios are, and uh, they're they're easy to log them if you have our tune. Now, you know, they're. So, so, you know, that's that. And uh, I, again, I just, it's just dis disheartening that someone with such a terrible track record of truthfulness um, and with someone with such bad, you know, motives, you know, continues to put this stuff out there. But I, I think we're done talking about Mario. Um, I will 
I will address something since we are being open and honest and direct about this is that the state that we are at, the period that we're at with B9S4 tuning, uh, especially with stage three, this is, this is stage three tunes. Yeah. Um, the, we are a tuning company that's faced with a market that wants the most horsepower, the most torque, and the, the most acceleration performance potential possible. Um, even now with the tunes and calibrations that we have out, customers want to go faster. They want more power. Um, the re the reality or they're, is, or they're they're also experimenting and, and stacking things. Or they're they're yeah. they're providing you know hardware setups that are you know far outside of what the calibrations intended for. Yeah, so you know everyone's everyone's pushing the power uh, literally to the limit, and so we're at a point now where we are starting to see some motors fail and give up. It's not a widespread uh, problem as far as you know. It's not like every motor that runs a, a oh, A10 no, no. blows Certainly up, not. not even close, right? But about once a week in the community of thousands of cars, uh, we are hearing about um, a motor failure. So, some of these are related to bad injectors. Some of these are related to you know other other types of, of issues that are causing the motor to fail. Um, but the reality is the tune and calibrations that we have out and I would say several of our competitors, uh, we are at the, the ragged edge. We are at the limit of what these uh, factory motors and fuel systems are capable of. Yeah. And I'll, I mean, and it's to say we, we've built in as much headroom as we can with the, the hardware that we have as well. It's not like we're like, uh, you know, literally pushing it as far as we can go. We, we, we build in um, headroom, but those, those margins just shrink the more yeah. and more power you make. So I'll use an analogy like I often like to do. Uh, imagine you're, you're a, um, an acrobat and you're, you're on the flying trapeze and there's a safety net. And the safety net is rated to catch a person of your weight from 100 feet. If, if, it, if you go to 150 feet, you will hit the net and go through the net and hit the ground. Okay, so... Uh, but you're a trapeze artist and you want to go as high as possible and you want to impress everyone and you want you want to put on a really great show and you want to feel the thrill of soaring high as, as possible. And so, you know, stage one uh, is 50 feet. You know, factory is 30 feet. And, uh, you know, as long as uh, your factory 30 feet on a 100 foot net, you're fine. 50 feet, no problem. You, know, you get into stage two, you're now 60, 65 feet. But these, these A10 files... We're, get, we're getting to, to, to close to like, you know, 90, 95 feet. And so does that net, you know, that's rated for 100 feet always catch you every single time? You know, sometimes it might not, you know. And so how close to the limit you want to get is really your choice. The thrill of flying high is, is certainly amazing. But, you know, we, we are at a point with these tunes where, well, the, 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 everyone, we and and uh, you know, uh, you know, certainly our, our biggest competitor in the space. We're all experiencing the same thing. The this the safety margin that we can build in is getting smaller and smaller, and and that means that if like the net, if you fall on one section of it and those knots aren't perfectly tied, you could go through it, you know, one percent of the time. So. Um, you know, we are considering um, offering some slightly lower output files um, for anyone who's concerned about the possibility of, of experiencing an issue. We can give you more headroom and you'll still have an incredibly so fast car. Um, but a lot of the spark plug issues, the injector issues, the, the crack piston issues, you know, ultimately are related to the fact that we as, as the tuning community are pushing things so close to the edge of what's possible from the factory motor assembly and the factory fuel system. Uh, we have kind of hit uh, a you know, type of ceiling um, where we have to now innovate and develop past that to get to the next uh, era of B9 tuning, which, which will allow you know, higher horsepower and outputs than what, we, what we're seeing now with increased reliability. Yeah. And we, we, of course, we shoot for a 0% issue rate. Of course. You know, we're always, yeah. we're, we're, we're shooting for that, that zero failures ever. Um, and now even at, at these limits, we're talking about 
a few um, yeah, and, issues and, out of thousands. And to so be clear, it is it is a few people. Now, if you're one of the few, it's it's not much um, consolation, I guess, relief. But but, yeah. but yeah, we have cars in house that have never had a problem. We have lots of local customers that have never had you know a problem to that degree. Lots of remote, lots of worldwide customers. You know, it's, like it's, we have tuned thousands of these yeah. big turbo S fours, and the reliability is is good, but. <laughs> If you want to have a 0% chance of having a failure, we do need to start pulling back the power for you if you don't want to take that risk. Yeah, and we're working on other, we've got a lot of hardware irons in the mix. Um, We have more um, components coming that are going to give us the margins, you know, and then some that we want to, to, you know, always have under, under, you know, under the hood. So, um, yeah, there's more coming, but um, yeah, if, if... we can we can provide larger margins where we yeah. are now, and and to be clear, this is not a zero three four problem. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the fuel system on on this car is not a zero three four fuel system. The factory motor is not a zero three four motor. These are parts that came from Audi. So our calibration and anyone's calibration that's producing similar horsepower and torque figures is going to have these same issues. There's yeah, no there's, there's no magic pill here. There's not some missing no you know, uh, sauce that that's just waiting there. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's it's of course we're also trying to deal with literally anything in the wild that we have no control over. However, these cars are built, how much fuel's in the tank. Or, you know, when when people yeah. are doing all these polls, we obviously try and build in all these safeties, or you know, we build in as, as many safeties and, and lean on the, all the factory safeties as as much as possible. But you know, it's out in the world where we have zero control over yeah. the environment, the, the operating conditions, the health, the maintenance, the um, the fuel quality. It's who knows, you know. What yeah. mixtures people are running all the time, um, so yeah, it's 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 a tough thing to try and completely fail safe. Yeah, no, there is no, there's never a fit a perfectly you know safe. Even factory factory motors have issues, like yeah. we always talk about. Um, oh, was it? oh, I, I, it won't come as much surprise that you, there's probably no other tuning company that's talking about this. You know, so again, we're very open, we're very direct, we're honest, and we, we're coming out and saying that this is an issue. Um, if if there are other tuning companies who aren't admitting this, then you know they're not being very genuine and um, or, or very transparent. Uh, now, t- to be fair, this is a point that every tuning application gets to. Um, you hear a lot about how much power BMWs make or GTRs or Supras. You know, uh, in the two seven T era, we we experienced this where. The, the tuning industry got things to a certain point, and then the factory motor, the factory turbos, the factory fuel systems needed to be upgraded and, and improved. Um, this is something that's been going on in uh, the F- since FSI motors hit Volkswagens, you know, in the Mark V era. So what's happening is supposed to be happening. It's, it's cool. I'm excited that um, as an engineering company, we are now talking about how to, how to make the motor stronger. We're talking about how to add more fuel to the fuel system. We're talking about cars that will be a thousand wheel horsepower reliable. That's what's coming. But the journey sometimes has some bumps in the road. So if you want to wait out the the, the process, uh, we can provide lower output files that will ensure that you know you don't. It's going to give you more headroom. Yeah, yeah. And get, sure. to give you more headroom. We we can never prevent anything from happening, but. We can put in more headroom, just like the, my trapeze analogy. Um, you know, uh, 95 feet is really cool, but you can still have a lot of fun at 85 feet, and right. you'll be that much safer, God forbid, if you fall and, and hit the net. You know, and so that's that's what we want. We don't want anyone to have you know that type of issue. Now there are, there are some of you out there that are like, it's worth it. If I blow up a motor, I'll pick up a used one for five grand. I'll swap it out myself with some buddies in the driveway. And I'll be back up and running, and that's and that's great. We're happy to support you too, um, but in, in in the rare chance that, that you do have an issue, uh, for some of you it's it's more devastating. And if if that's the case, you know we'd like to make sure that you guys have a safe option as well mm-hmm. by giving you more headroom. And it's yeah, again to reiterate too, this is if you are shooting for a power number, oh, it's going to be across the board. Um, there's just no, or, or all of the tunes out there, there's not going to be one that's going to be able to build in more headroom than what we've got um, no, you know, it, on our files for, it, for it, a given amount. It takes X amount of fuel to make Y horsepower. There's just, there's, it's, there's physics. It's based by, you know, thermodynamics and physics. Yeah. Um, there's no magic 
extra you know amount of fuel from the fuel system right. that you can get to make more power and um, you know so and and the, the lambda values end up being you know leaner than you'd like at the maximum output with less headroom because there just isn't enough capacity in the fuel system to add more fuel and again no no other tuner is able to magically add more fuel from a fuel system that's maxed out so that that's the issue we're at it's and um, it's not to say that we don't try though like we have systems in place that derate <clears throat> Oh no! Yeah, the, well, we, we, have we, have, we have all kinds of safety nets that are but, there for, but those for all kinds of D rates and all kinds of, of yeah. limitations and whatnot. And um, but that's just a know, confusing it's... statement because D rating is not adding more fuel. Right. We're talking about adding more yeah. fuel. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there are ways we can add safety by D rating, and we already do that. Yeah. All the factory safety systems are in place. Yeah. And well, another thing we struggle with too is just the post mortem on these. Um, yeah. When, when, if, and when there is a, an issue, it's very rare that we are able to do a thorough investigation as to the cause um just because it's again it's across the world or it's somewhere else um or you know it's getting dealt with you know it's obviously getting dealt with outside of our control so it's you know there's only so much information we're able to gather from from some of these so um it's left to guessing what uh you know what the potential failure might have been yeah okay well if there's any follow-ups uh, yeah, feel free to ask. We'll, 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 we're happy to touch on any more uh, more detailed points if anybody has them. Someone's asking about lambdas and what's safe and EGTs. Um, um, yeah, so lamb, lambda's going to vary. Um, on, on these cars, it varies quite a bit based on exhaust gas temperature, um, and that's going to that's gonna drive a lot of where your enrichment will, will begin. Um, so if you're in a real quick for a second gear rip, part of, maybe part of third, you're going to see... Um, <clears throat> Lambda, you know, near or a little bit below one, and it'll richen up as the EGTs come up. So. Yeah, yeah. If, if the EGTs are lower, then you can run leaner. Yeah, but and that, once the and EGTs come up, you need that extra fuel. To cool. Yeah, and that's that's the exact same um, strategy the the factory does on all, regardless of power output on any of these new motors. Yeah. Um, so yep. And then you know the if if you do a log say in first gear, where EGTs are low and the engine's ripping. You know, through the power band at lower boost, then you're going to be able to log lower lower lambda. If you're logging in six gear, you're going to see a different lambda because things are going to get much hotter. Yep. And so what's going to happen is, in order to richen it, the ECU will have to lower the boost to increase the fuel system capacity. But you can easily falsify if you want to create a salacious you know attack message or essentially what I would call propaganda by taking a snapshot and then misrepresenting it, which is what Mario did. And again, you can, like we said before, you can you can go log. <clears throat> you can log it yourself. yourself. You can do yeah. it with our tools. You can do it with uh, VADCOM. You can do it with other mm -hmm. tools. Like, when nothing's locked down there. We're not yeah. trying to hide anything. Yep. So, um, but, you know, we, we could, we, we wouldn't waste our time, but we could go find one of Mario's cars that, that has uh, shop tuned and, get some screenshots to make it look you know I, actually we might not even have to falsify it but anyways it's just it's just silly so if you hear something about us and you want to know about it then ask us in this case we're addressing it proactively but there's no hit piece there's no expose on what we're doing we've been very open about it and again you can log it yourself uh, with with a, with the tools that we provide you so that's probably enough about that, but if anyone has yeah. any follow-ups, uh, please let us know.